had this crazy idea for an experiment to try. So if you've seen how I make the mixes for these types of paintings, the wandering straight pours, you'll know that I, you know, mix my paint with Floetrol and then I add a kind of a lot of the gloss or heavy gloss or any sort of gloss gel to make it thick enough for this type of pour. And so since I've had trouble with the Floetrol going bad, I decided um, I had this great idea that I would see if I could use just the gel. And I know a lot of you are in um, other countries and you might not have access to Floetrol, so I thought I would try doing a pour with just gel. And I didn't want to use my special gel because it's been recalled and they're gonna have stock issues. So they sent me this as a replacement for this. It is not a replacement for this. I don't know what they were thinking. So the one that I had, like a bucket of that, the good stuff was recalled. So as a, as a recall, they gave us this instead. And it's a high solid gel gloss. I don't know exactly what that means, but I figured I'll try it. So I mixed it up in just water. Just skipping the flow trawl step and see what I could get with it. So it's just mixed with water to the consistency that I was looking for. And I'm just going to use that only as a pouring medium to see how it turned out. So that was my bright idea to see how that would work. And I decided to go with this one because I didn't think it would work very well. I didn't want to waste the good stuff. Um, but you'll see that this had a problem that I'll show you that I, I do think the experiment is still okay, but don't use this. So after I made all the mixes, you can probably see, look at all those bubbles. This has sat for several weeks, if not a month. So I haven't had time to paint anything after I had this idea. And so all the bubbles are still in there, even though this has been sitting for a really long time. And I think that all those solids in there actually are keeping the bubbles from going away. But I already mixed up the stuff, so I decided to do the experiment anyway to see if it would work. So if you want to see how it turned out after it dried or dried and sat a little bit longer, um, you can check out the dried result and I'll let you know what I learned, what I might do different, or if it's fine as is, and let me know what you think about this experiment.
later, it's still full of bubbles. Golden, you really failed me with this replacement. That's not really a replacement. And since I mixed this in with my other stuff, that means all my paintings are going to be ruined. I don't know why it's so hard to get products that are not defective these days, but... Maybe they'll go away when it dries. Doubtful, but I can hope because it looks kind of cool, actually. You can see the normal lacing that I get. And so here's the final product. So it feels normal. I'm kind of surprised it's not as shiny as I would think from a gloss gel. But you can see, I'll give you the close-up. You can see all the details um, similar to if I had used Floetrol. And the only problem is the bubbles did not go away. So you can see all the bubbles are still there. And it did kind of ruin this a little bit um, because all the bubbles are still there. But I think it's okay. If you look at it from a distance, they look like stars. So it'll be okay. But if you were not able to get Floetrol, you could use this in water only. I mean, is this a cheap... Alternative? No, but the Floetrol is now $20 as well, and I have to add this to it, so why not just use this only, was my thinking. And so I think that will work. I'll have to try it without this and use this instead, and that one should get rid of the bubble issue. But I don't see anything different here. I'll give you the close-up. But yeah, I think it, it was a pretty successful experiment. Only thing is that it's kind of really stretchy. It's like a Stretchy, and I noticed this with the Artist Loft pouring medium as well. So it kind of stretches more than normal Floetrol. But this is like an artist grade material, so you don't have to worry about using something that's not meant for art. So in theory, this is better than Floetrol. So I figured I would show you this maybe if you wanted to try it. You're going to have to add this anyway um, to get the paint thick enough. So might as well just skip the Floetrol and save yourself some money. So let me bring you in for the close-up on this one.